and I had a very, very tiny item sell for $80 today, plus shipping. As author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard sales, thrift stores, antique malls, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our three antique booths. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the eBay cave. I've been waiting a while to say that. So we are starting off old time's sake here in the eBay cave because we had more items sell out of here than we had sell out of the Commonwealth cabin. And that has not happened in a while. So we're going to hit these items first and then we're going to go out there and check out a few things that sold out there. And then we have two homeschool hustler store sales as well. We have a sad day here in the eBay cave because a particular item is no longer with us. And I had a very, very tiny item sell for $80 today, plus shipping. And it is tiny, and I'm gonna let you take a look at that when we go out to the Commonwealth Cabin. Let's take a look at what's sold in here. Our first item up are these vintage Timberwolf Racing bumper stickers, Mark Green, and it says, Be Afraid, Timberwolf Tobacco. And there are three of them, even though I only had two listings. So somebody bought two and my listings have run out and I have an extra. I'm not sure, these took so long to sell and somebody bought two of them that I'm not sure I'm gonna relist the third. I might just go and put this in my antique booth with all the other stickers that are in there that have sold really quickly in there, at least for an antique booth. We had literally a thousand of them. And we were selling them at a dollar a piece, but I did pick some that were selling in here. And actually while I was digging through the flats, I have a little drawer over here with a bunch of flats in it. I found these and we sold these like crazy, these Jasper engine stickers. We sold them in the booth, we sold them here on eBay. We were making tons of money and I thought I was out of them, but underneath these, I found these. So I'm gonna have to check to see if I have a listing. I highly doubt I do, because if I did, I bet they would have sold already. So I'm gonna have to check that out after we're done with the show. At any rate, these sold for $15.98 just for two. So we'll get those shipped out. All right, here's the item that has been around forever, forever. Five years I've had these Pecos League baseballs. It's always kind of hard to see because of the glare. The Carlsbad Bats, and if you've been watching the show for any length of time, you've heard me talk about them incessantly, and you won't ever have to hear me talk about them again. So I had 120 of these baseballs, and we make about $4 profit every time we sell them. $8.81, I think, plus shipping. But there's some obvious cost in them. So about $4 profit every time we sold one. We used to make 5 or $6 profit on them when we first started selling them. Slowly over time, that diminished a little bit. I mean, how many people in America have to have a Carlsbad Bats baseball? So that kind of reduced itself over time. But either, let's just say it's a $5 profit over time per baseball times 120. That's $600 profit on those 10 dozen baseballs, which is really, really good. I wish I had a thousand of this type of item and I wouldn't have to list nearly as much as I do listing those one off. So I'll take this kind of listing all day long. All right, I have one of these going out to Kathleen, one going to Shane. He says, hello, Mr. Kevin. I, I, is that because I'm a teacher? I still make my students call me Mr. There are some teachers out there that let their kids call them by their first name and coaches for that matter. I just can't take that, but maybe I'm old school. I don't know. Maybe I'm just old. I don't know. Big fan of all your channels, and we watch them daily. I'd love a misfit one. This is not a misfit. I have to track down a misfit for you because they need love too. <laughs> and would really appreciate it if one of the homeschool hustlers would sign it. Hope all is well in the Commonwealth and wish you and the family, including Boots, wonderful health and success, Shane and Vanessa. So thanks so much. Let me tell you a little story about Boots really quickly here. I'm going to get through this video. We've been having too many 20 minute videos. We're going to get this thing down. Boots has to wear a bell now. They put a bell on the cats, but they really only needed to put one on Boots because of these chickens we got running around on the Homeschool Hustler channel, Reagan's Raising Chicks. At any rate, we have to put a bell on Boots so we know where she's at when those chicks are around. She's a ruthless little kitty. It's been around for a while. I thought it was a cool Tommy shirt. I'm not even quite sure where I got it, to be honest with you. I probably picked it up for a buck at a yard sale. Tommy shirts sometimes are a little heavier than others. So this one's probably going to go out probably for 12 ounces. This is an XL, and this is the reason I picked it up. And this went to a viewer, went to Daniel. Long time viewer, first time buyer. Love the videos. Keep it up. It's like listening to a radio show, right? 
long time listener, first time caller. So Daniel, we appreciate it and we hope you enjoy it. I think it's an awesome shirt. Thanks. All right, this, believe it or not, is from the Happy Little Accident. It is a Department 56. I guess it's like an outhouse slash coffin. And it works, and we had it all tested up. It's one of the very few items from that sale that didn't sell last Halloween, but it's sold now $9.95 plus shipping. We're going to add it to the Happy Little Accident toll. All right, Department 56 coffin. So $200 buy, $2,393 so far in profit. All right, this one's going out to, I think, Amy, although I'm not positive because of the names on here. But she says, hi, it's Amy's Epic Stuff for Sale. <laughs> Grabbing this guy to give me some store support as I also wanted to support your channel. Thank you for all you do. Well, we appreciate it, Amy. If it is Amy, we do appreciate it. And we hope he supports your store and he gets things moving. Thanks so much. I like to pick up cool hats. Somebody's going to want this hat. It's got the patch. It's a hokey bird hat, you know. I figure somebody around here will buy it eventually, and the shipping will be pretty cheap because it's pretty close by, even though it's first class. Anyways, we ship out hats, especially like this, in an 8 by 6 by 4 box. And people ask about that every once in a while, and we do have them in the affiliate links. At least I think we still do. I'm not sure. But they're easy to find, even if we don't. Just look up 8 by 6 by 4 box on eBay if you don't want to go through the link. Or go to Amazon and type in 8 by 6 by 4 box and you can find them. I like the Supply Hut ones the best. I think Matt at Part-Time Picker mentioned this because theirs are actually lighter. Sometimes you can get an item for under 8 ounces that if you buy that thicker box, it's going to go over 8 ounces. Anyways, I paid a buck for it. $9.41 plus shipping on this one. So it's a nice little $7 profit, $8 profit. All right, this one is headed off to Canada, and you asked about one of the Coleman shirts as well. I responded to you and then realized that my response to you sounds stupid after I read your message. So, Kimberly, when you hear this, hopefully I've got it figured out for you. If not, send me a message, send me an email, something, in or Instagram is probably best, and I will try and make sure you get what you want headed up to Canada. So, Kim says, hello again. I definitely needed one of these little guys. I am also a fellow high school teacher, although I teach science. See, you science teachers are way smarter than us history teachers. I have an eBay store, and I specialize in scouting memorabilia. I figured being off so much, I'd have more listing time, but I find I'm busier than ever. I think that's true of a lot of us out there. I can't list as much as I did. I was so regimented in what I did and when I did it. It seems like I got a little bit more done when I was doing more at school. But at any rate, I have enjoyed the time at home, even though we've had some other sacrifices. So at any rate, Kim, we appreciate it, and we thank you so much. And he is headed your way, and hopefully I can figure out the other issue for you. I bought a ton of Under Armour stuff from one particular sale coming home from Roanoke one day. Tons of great stuff. Under Armour pants, shirts, all kinds of golf stuff, Nike stuff, and it was dirt cheap. I think I paid two dollars a shirt for these, and these are nice, nice condition. XL, didn't have to wash them or anything. $14.81 plus shipping on this one. All right, let's head out in the Commonwealth cabin and let me show you the tiny little item that made so much money. All right, for those of you who don't like me walking around with this thing and the camera shaking, I'm going to try to be a little bit more still. But you're going to like it because most of this episode, that thing's going to be stationary. Except for right now, I want to show you two things real quick. A gift from a viewer and one thing that's sold in the back. And then we're going to come up here and tell you the rest of the things that's sold. All right, the first thing here is from the Branson family and from Carson. So a little shout out there. These are some awesome Idaho plates. I love the red, white, and blue on these. I have been to Idaho just one time and it was driving through the state and I was so impressed. Matter of fact, I can't remember any time in my life where I saw the stars so bright as I did that night. We were out camping in the middle of nowhere. The sounds were almost deafening. It was an amazing night and I was glad we were able to at least camp there one night before we moved on. That was awesome. But the Bransons have been nice to this show and we really appreciate this gift. And I'm gonna show you something else here in the back. Two things, really. I'm going to show you what sold. One thing that sold here, I'm not gonna pull it out. This is an Emerson VCR that sold for $26.50 for that guy. And there's nothing with it except for some AV cables. I think I'm gonna ship that out in the morning, so I'm gonna leave it there for right now. But the other thing I wanted to show you was this. Because some folks have been sending in plates and I'm running out of bin space. I do think that I'm gonna have to put one more up here. This is just holding some junk right now. I'm gonna put one more bin up here and it's gonna be a pull through. And I might put those Idaho plates right there. But I thought, you know what? We have this space up here and up here and I don't have anything on here other than what I'm selling. And I thought we could name this top row 
in between these beams after the next, say, 10 plates or so that come in. So the New York plate goes right there. I just want to have everybody who's generous enough to send us some plates to be able to see it. At some point, we're going to have to start putting them on the outside of the cabin, I think. All right, since we're walking this way, I want to show you this as well. I just pulled this out. This Nerf set, these two, and then a bunch of smaller cartridges. I try not to mess with Nerf too much anymore. Used to be a lot more money in it. There has been some decent money in it lately, obviously. But I'm just selling this lot off, and there's a bunch of bullets in there as well. $39.95 plus shipping, and it took a long time to sell, but it finally sold. All right, we don't have too many more sales, but I'm going to put you up here and let you see what sold. All right, this is a tiny sale, but this isn't the tiny sale I was talking about. Mario Hoops 3-on-3, three three, and it sold for $11.50 plus shipping. Now, here's the one I'm talking about. $80 for this little tiny thing. So it's Pokemon Soul Silver version, Nintendo DS. $79.95 plus shipping on this little DS game. So there's not too many DS games that are better than this one. But just in general, if you're not used to selling video game things, Pokemon, any, you know, green, emerald, red, whatever the heck the colors are, Soul Silver is one that I had never seen before. And when I saw it, I'm like, that's going to be worth some money. And looked it up, and sure enough, it was. And this, I think we have one more of these. I told you a few days ago that this stuff would sell really, really quick. And it has $79.95 plus shipping on this one. So a little bit of Revere Wear, $10.95 plus shipping. I think that's what it was, not $9.95. Pretty sure it's $10.95 plus shipping. And this one is not a copper bottom. And really, the only reason I sell this, there's not huge money in it, but it's pretty consistent money. And they're easy to find. If I have a bin full of it, I'm not going to buy any more. But right now, my bin is just about empty with it because every time I list it, it seems to sell pretty quick lately. So not a copper bottom, but it's in good shape. And it's still sold for $10.95 plus shipping. And one of these Coleman shirts sell again. $17.95 free shipping. We don't make a bunch of money, but we'll make between five and seven bucks when we sell these, which doesn't really seem worth it for a one-off. But this isn't a one-off. We had hundreds of these things that we have dwindled down, not hundreds of this particular color and this particular size. But you know, it took me one full afternoon to list all these things and we will end up making over a thousand dollars on them. So I'm pretty good with that, even though it's been a bit of a pain in the butt and they have been really long tail. They are cool shirts though. And I think now that a lot of the competition, the other people who were selling these, this was a retail arbitrage buy from Costco. And once those people who were selling them are kind of out of the marketplace, I've been able to sell a little bit more and some viewers have bought some as well. So happy to make that sale. All right, I think that's it for today. I know the Homeschool Hustlers had a few sales, but I might put that one before this as we come into the Commonwealth Cabin, although it might be after it as well. So I don't know, but you probably know more than I do at this point. If you haven't seen the Homeschool Hustlers yet, hang around to the end of the video. If you have seen the Homeschool Hustlers, we are very glad you joined us and we'll see you next I had a last minute sale that I forgot to get in the other part of the video. This hat has been in so many videos. It's been over there. It's been over here. I think I don't even know where. I know it's been inside for a while. We've had it for a while. We got it out of Needful Things Antiques. And I thought it was really cool. I paid up for it. I think I paid $8. And I knew it would sell eventually. It sold for $34.91. And I recognize that name. I think it's a viewer. And I'm going to say it again because I'm 99% sure. This one to Robert. So Robert, thank you so much. You got an awesome hat. That is a vintage Detroit Red Wings hat. And it is pretty neat. I like it a lot. And it's in pretty darn good shape. So I hope you enjoy that. All right, I got a couple of homeschool hustlers here. We made two sales, both to viewers. And I'd say about half of our sales the last couple months in the homeschool hustler store have been to viewers. So that is overwhelmingly nice. So thank you all so much. So Turner, who do you have right there? Um, uh, Minnie Mouse. That's Minnie Mouse. And it's new with tags-ish. It actually is. And it has a few little markings on it here and there. I probably could have got a lot more for it if there wasn't any issues or if I would have bothered to, to do a lot of detailed cleaning on it. I don't know if we listed it new with defects. I'm not exactly sure what we did with it. But it was part of that plush auction sale that we did. He has cheap. It's all right. It's okay. <laughs> <sighs> and this is going out to a viewer, so let me read what it says to y'all, okay? It says, thanks so much. I'm sad the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle slipped through my fingers, but this will make a delightful birthday present for my niece. P.S. I'm going to get a few other things on the other account. 
and that's really nice. And if I recall, this is, I think, going to Canada, looking at that other account. So at any rate, thank you so much. We do appreciate that sale. And Reagan, who do you have there? I have a Care Bear. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to have to do the glass break sound on you. <laughs> a piggy bank but we don't know where the little bottom piece is mm -hmm. and you put the coins through here can you look at the date because i think you took this picture yeah 1984 1984 and it is missing that bottom piece and it is a little yeah. bit dirty we washed a lot of them cleaned a lot of them but we didn't do that with this piggy bank mm -hmm. So it is, uh, we put, also put it on there for a really good price, free shipping. And I think, let's see, it's $7.95 free shipping. And let me read this. Hi, it's Amy's Epic Stuff for Sale. Hey, you bought something else from the other store. <laughs> Grabbing this for my personal collection and to help out the kiddos. Thank you. Well, thank you. We appreciate it. Yeah. Very much to Amy. Okay, can you all say thank you? Thank you, Amy. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys are sweet looking today. What are you going to do tonight with Blue Ridge Mama? Uh, We're going to play Yahtzee, Yahtzee and Turner wants to play Rock'em Sock'em Robot. <laughs> All right, well, I hopefully I can get up there to play a little bit or at least yeah. watch a movie with you. What's yeah. on the movie agenda? Um, Harry Potter, the mm. third one, because we just finished the third book. You just yeah. finished the third book. The fourth book. one, the second one, and the third one. Well, we've oh, already awesome. done read the first book and the movie and then the second book and then the movie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us, y'all. Bye. Bye. Forgot to tell you with the kids there, that was a $3 profit is all on that Mount Plushmore sale. We've turned $156 into $1,582 from the Mount Plushmore sale.